Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. Well, everything went smooth yesterday and I was able to make my mother's wreath. I think she's going to love it. It's big, it's bold, it's bright, it's beautiful. So if you want to see how I put it all together, let's get started. By the way, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, stopping by for the first time, welcome. My name is Laura and today I'll be making my mother a wreath for her room. We recently had to put her in a home. I miss her like crazy. She's far away and I just wanted to make something for her room to remind her that I'm there in spirit. I'm always thinking about her and I can't wait to get her back. So with all that said, let's get started on this wreath. I'll be using the square wreath form from the Dollar Tree and an assortment of bright, bold flowers. So I'm gonna start off kind of with my bigger flowers to you know, use up some space and then I'll use the littler flowers to fill in. And I'm just gonna use the stems of the flowers for the most part just to wire them on like you see me doing here. And then I do have some floral wire on hand just to hold down some other pieces, you know, some bunches of stems together. I wired those together. And I just kind of just went with it. And what I put on one side, I would try to put on the other side to make it semi-even, not in the same place, but, you know, just, uh, just to make it even with your eye. So that's how I make my wreaths. That's how I start off. I just kind of go back and forth and then I just start filling in here and there. So yeah, I was so happy. I found the time yesterday to make this wreath. Uh, I think my brothers are going and my father to go see my mom this weekend. So hopefully they can take this to her. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to let you watch. I'll play some music and see how I put this all together. Here I'm adding some of those fall leaves from the Dollar Tree. They are so beautiful this year. It just seems like uh, year after year, they just keep getting better and better. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about making a wreath or an arrangement, hit the Dollar Tree first before you go anywhere else. Um, they're gonna be the cheapest place. Um, you could always just get some really nice florals from maybe Joann's or Walmart and then use the Dollar Tree ones just as fillers. So yeah, just a little hint. I used all Dollar Tree for this one. It was quite a big wreath. So just budget wise um, and all, you know, I just think that their florals are just absolutely beautiful. So <clears throat> that's what I did, but anyway, enough rambling and I'll just speed up the video and um, so you don't have to watch me you know meticulously adding each flower I'll kind of jump from now on 
cut in little sections and you can kind of see the progress of the wreath. And here is where I'm going to use some floral wire. I want to add a bunch of flowers together as you see here. So I'm going to wire all those together and then I'll wire them onto the wreath itself. This way I have you know, kind of bunches instead of one flower here and there. They're kind of bunched together in little sections. And once again, I put the bunch on one side, so I'm also going to add some to the other side. Only on this particular one, I will be uh, bundling them together, and then I'm just going to curve it right in the corner of that bottom, the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to just attach it there. So I just bent the whole, once I, I wired them all together, I bent it and just formed it to the square there at the bottom. You got the best of me, yeah. You got the best of me, embracing our insecurities. Better to cry and set us free, yeah. Oh no. So I want to add this little plaque. It says, Mom, we love you with all of our hearts. And I want that to be in the middle just to remind her again that we're always with her in spirit. We're thinking about her. So um, I just kind of laid it in the middle of my wreath just so I don't cover it. You know, I make sure I go around that. Uh, so you can still see the plaque, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and. I, the reason I ended up making a wreath for my mom versus an arrangement is my mom is so generous. I know she's probably going to try if, if it's not on the wall and it's just on a table, she will just go try to give it to somebody. She's just let, that way. She's so, so generous. She's always thinking about other people. She's always trying to make other people happy. And so I thought, well, if it's hanging on the wall, it's not likely that she will take it down off the wall. She may, she just may. <laughs> but, um, so that's the reason I ended up making the wreath. Um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to explain that, but I did. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, share with you a little bit about my mom's personality. And she is, she's wonderful. Like I said, she's so generous. She will give you her shoe if you need it, I'm telling you. So anyway, with all that said, uh, I'll just carry on. <laughs> possibilities lately you got the best of me yeah. you got the best of me embracing our insecurities better to cry here you can see the wreath is getting 
bigger and bigger. It's nice and full. I'm pulling some things out from my stash. I use some of those flocking balls from the Dollar Tree. One is like an off-white and then the other is like a yellow tint to it. And then I had some, the, the little mini cranberries I used to, to fill in. Those leaves with the pumpkins on them, those made great fillers. They, they took up a lot of space. And yeah, I just filled in here and there. This wreath was uh, very emotional for me. I just thought about my mom the whole time I was making it, what she would think, what she likes. So yeah, I'm, I just wanted to share with you all how I put it together since I've been talking about it so much. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it's getting uh, almost done. So we're nearing the end and I'll just play some more music for you all. Here is about the time I just started filling in, but I didn't wire them yet. I just kind of wanted to see um, how they looked, so I just kind of stuck them in there, here and there, where I thought they would look good and fill in, and then I just turned it over, and then I wired them from the back. Once I got everything wired and in place, I'm going to take some burlap ribbon, and I'm going to glue it down along the wreath form. It's going to cover up a lot of the wire, the messiness in the back. It's also going to keep my flowers, you know, in place somewhat. Not the best, but it is wired down. So mostly to hide it, but just to give it um, some more stableness in the back of the wreath. So I'm just going to start gluing it down all the way around. Um, and it just made it look nicer and it just felt sturdier so the flowers didn't move around so much. It had something to keep it in place in the back. Anything that fell off, I just glued back on, like that little pumpkin there, and some of the cranberries, I just glued in there just to keep them from falling out. And so yeah, so I decided to use one of these picture hooks from the Dollar Tree. I got, that's where I got this pack. And then I used the rope from one of those shelves that they used to have at the Dollar Tree. I'm just using the rope part. I've used the other piece in a DIY. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to hook that onto the wire in the middle of the that wire form. And then I'm going to hook that little key or key ring right to that other end of that picture hanger. And then I'm going to glue down where I want my frame I'm going to glue on each part of the M. So the last part of the first M and then the first part of the f the, the last M uh, is where I'm going to glue it down and just making sure it was even. I did have to um, adjust it a little. 
I had to take it apart and redo it. I want that ring to be right in the middle of my O. That way the plaque will be centered and, and hang even or hang level, I should say. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to attach that rope. I'll turn it over and give it a good glue down and then cut off the excess rope. And this wreath was done. Here is where I redid it. I just turned it over and then glued it from the back. See how I'm centering that key ring right in the center of my O. That way it'll hang nice and even. And then I just glued it all down in the back, cut off the excess rope and just hung it onto the um, picture hanger. Here it is, all done, hanging on my wall. I sure hope I made my mom proud. I hope she loves it. The camera is not really picking up the full brightness of this this wreath. The flowers are just so bold and colorful. I hope she really, really likes it. If you're new, stopping by for the first time and you liked my video today, so I would hope that you consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my YouTube family. And for my old subs, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. And I will talk to everybody in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.